Welcome back to F1 2019, guys. I know it's been a very long time since our last F1 2019 career mode episode, but today we are bringing it back with the Singapore Grand Prix. So just a little recap of where we are in our F1 season. It is neck and neck between myself and Sebastian Vettel for first place in the Drivers' Championship. However, you might remember the Williams guys also continued to upgrade their car. Well, between episodes, we got a bunch of new upgrades on the car, and we are once again the fastest car in F1 2019. So that's really, really awesome to see. I don't know how we'll fare out here at Singapore today, but let's jump on the circuit straight away for qualifying. Oh, great, great, great. Give me one of the hardest circuits to drive on on the F1 calendar at night in the rain when I haven't played for nearly a month. Yeah, this is a recipe for success game. Anyways, all I can do is bow my toque and hope for the best. By the way, actually, you guys went so ham on these hats, they are officially sold out. They're now actually on pre-order. So if you want to get one, I think there's only 50% of our pre-orders now remaining, so if you want one, do not wait too long. We've also got these awesome bright pink, pink Lake AR12 stickers. They are a very special edition. If you'd like to check them out, there's a link down below as well. They actually ship anywhere in the world with free shippings, which is really, really cool. Anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's try our best to not smack a wall. Uh, I... We're probably gonna smack a wall today. It's been a little while since I've played this game. I mean, I probably did one of the worst things between episodes as I've been I've been playing a lot of Need for Speed and it's a really, really fun game, but let's just say the physics are pretty different from an F1 car. Honestly, it's not, like, I'm sure I'm not that much slower than I was before. It's just, I feel so sloppy out here. Full on sliding the cars through the corners. Anyways, let's get to the finish line in the worst time. Okay, you're in the top yeah, I'm, I'm in seventh place behind the behind a Toro Rosso, which may, may, right now not 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 a bad thing. Oh, great, great, great! My teammates in first. Oh, isn't isn't that amazing when that happens? Okay, here we go. We've got traffic in front, traffic behind. This is an actual traffic. Um. That's a bit disappointing, but we just need to push hard in the race and we can still come away with something. Alright, this is going really well. I, I guess our car is pretty quick out there. I, I'm gonna hope it's very quick out there because, boy, I'm gonna need it tomorrow. Maybe my teammates also got some penalties out here today. Let's take a look and... Oh, never, never mind. Vettel is gonna be starting first, so uh, I, I think our main strategy for today has to be take Vettel out of the race because if he gets a DNF, then he gets no points. Oh, what will you do? We'll see what happens in this race though. Anyways, Devon Butler up in 12th. Carlos Sainz having a rough start down in. That was 14th position. We pick up a 35 place grid penalty. Great. So I'm going to call this the pulling a Carlos Sainz strategy starting in last. Let's end this race on the podium. So we are starting on the medium compound tires. One pit stop on lap 12 for the hards. I would imagine everybody in this race, this track's really intense on tires. Everybody's probably going to be running a two pit stop strategy. Okay, so let's see if we still got it. Lean revs, clutch in, rev it up. And away we go for the Singapore Grand Prix maximum power. Gio gets away very, very clean. Almost tries to pull Hulkenberg sitting right on the apex there. Mental man. Can I swing it around? Can I swing it around? Oh, ho, ho. man, he's going to shut the door on me. Okay, well, we make up one position past Gio Venazzi. What a start. We're, we're kind of doing like keep the car out of danger oh man yo lance yes later on the brakes push him wide make him pull out thank you thank you lance that was gonna end in a wall anyways i realized something really really not great for our current situation because we qualified in the wet that means the front guys get to choose whatever tires they get to start on which would they would usually have to start on the soft compound tires right which would mean they would have to do a two pit stop strategy, but because of that rain, they don't. They're, they're all going to be starting on the mediums. Everybody is going to be doing a one pit stop strategy today. 
That sucks! I was like, maybe, maybe we'll be able to get people with a better strategy, but no. Everybody is going to be running the exact same one. Vettel is still leading this race after the first lap. Let's try to get Lando here. We know he's got a very, very weak engine. Can we swing it round the outside? He goes to defend, keep a tire on the circuit. He like rubs us off. We didn't damage the car, did we? We did not, luckily. Okay, Lando, you're not going to be able to survive this one, bud. That's just not going to happen. Fastest car in F1 versus a Renault. Yeah, sorry, bud. Come on, though. We got to close in a little bit. If everyone's going to be on the same strategy, I do not want to get held up behind anybody. Kvyat, though, running it in 15th right now. DRS is enabled, which is going to mean a couple of easy overtakes for me, but a lot of defending from the AI, which is not what I want. Okay, here we go. DRS is a coming. Open that up. Get that slipstream. Come on. Rich revs as well. Reel in the Red Bull. There we go. Swing it to the inside. Laid on the brakes and nailed it. Perfectly nice overtake. The thing I definitely don't want to do is run into the back of somebody, lose my front wing, and then and then pff, my race is over if that happens. So we got to keep this thing clean. Like I said, it's a recovery drive. Any points that I can get out here would be great. Who knows what will happen to Vettel? His car could blow up. And as he is a Ferrari driver, he could always take his teammate out, which is me in this case. Yo, we got the DRS on the pit straight as well. Open it up. Oh, straight is so short. Why is there DRS on this straight for real? I can definitely imagine somebody overtaking there, but you've got to be so brave. Like, it's got to be insane. Nice exit of the corner. Rich revs. We're having a drag race with a Toro Rosso as he squeezes us. Almost into the wall, and we're gonna get on the brakes and not run into the back of Carlos. Woo! Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! This is a sketchy race. Honestly, though, I know I haven't played this game in a little while, but jumping back in with this McLaren, it is just so fast, so OP. It's kind of insane. Like, honestly, it's actually very easy to drive this thing. It's not bad at all, I say, as I. Almost snap it straight into the wall. Carlos, you're gonna... No way. No way. That man must have got on those brakes so early. That was a gift. Thank you, Carlos. You're trying to help me go last to podium. Come on. Whew. Sketchy around there. Let's go. Yo, I'm just saying, playing a game like this with a toucan, you get a hot boy. Whew. This is sweaty boy now. Okay, K-Mag, no way you survive this time. Yo, that engine he's got! He's got some kick in there! Okay, can we swing it around the outside on him? A little bit of bravery! We do! We got it! Thank you! Alright, Albon and the Pink Panther left to go. Come on! After these guys, though, there is a large gap in front. Okay, I would like to apologize, Devon Butler, for what's about to happen. Our car's pretty quick, bud. I don't think you're gonna make it. Like, I know, I know your car's pretty quick, too. Yo, he actually pulls on us. He's got some horsepower in that thing as well. I think we're gonna try to do the exact same thing. Swing it around the outside. Identical move to the lap before. We actually ran it over the curb. Tried to leave him a little more room. I didn't want to get my inside bumped by him. Albon is the last one to go in that super slow Toro Rosso. Yo, there's somebody in already. That's Charles Leclerc. Ferrari, what are you doing? Why are you starting this man on softs? For real, Ferrari in real life and Ferrari in the game. All right, Albon, I'm sorry. We're gonna do the exact same thing as before. You don't have DRS though. We're gonna swing it to the inside this time. On the brakes, run it out to the line. Apex to apex, fantastic. Now. We go head down. So we've got Sergio Perez way up in the distance now. I would imagine it's going to take me a couple of laps to catch up for him. My pit window is anytime between lap 12 and 18. So we can play around with that a little bit if we feel like it. However, for the moment, it is head down. Let's push. Catch up to Checo. We are in the points. Let's go, McLaren. It's been a couple of laps now. And we have successfully been catching up to Checo in front. Except now we are getting a bunch of slide out of the rear of this car and the front. It's just 
it's not sticking. Oh, somebody else jumped in. That was Max Verstappen. Okay, now things are getting a little interesting. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of an undercut on Checo Perez in front. However, this car just feels like it's on ice. I think we actually got pretty lucky. Where's the pit line? I, I didn't get a penalty, yay. Anyways, one other person seems to have come in. Oh, someone behind is coming in as well. All right, let's go boys. And away we go, two seconds stop dead. Nicely done. Oh, it was one of the uh, it was one of the scam energy drinks. All right, though Let's put some good laps in run it in rich revs. Let's absolutely go on these hard tires We've got all the grip he says as he loses grip and uh, runs a little wide Oh, a bunch of people are in the pits. That is very very good news. Yo, Paris is so far He's so far out in front. Oh, oh, he's actually not that far out in front. Yo, I gained I gained like crazy! Yes! That is fantastic news for us in the bright orange McLaren. We've got the DRS. Let's go after this man. Yo, we're 1.5 seconds green on our fastest time. That's crazy. Go for Checo. Go! 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 Round the outside with the rich revs. Hard on the brakes. Down to standard. We run it a little deep. Get back on the circuit and we are good. Back up to P10. There is Kimmy in P8. What is going on? There was like a little little mishmash in the pit lane there. Yo, these two are gonna slow each other down as I run deep into the corner. Oh, it's a good thing they weren't right in front of me or that would have ended very badly. I'm just saying, I think we could get these guys in front, honestly. I know they're in a Ferrari and a Williams. Williams is really, really fast in our career mode, by the way. I, I think we could get him though. <laughs> oh, we are right on the back of him. I'm just saying though, game, if you'd really like to help me out, I could really, really do with a safety car. Let's see how fast that Ferrari is in a straight line. His line is all over the place. We've absolutely lost gap to Raikkonen up in front. Sorry, bud. We've got to go. You're slowing us down. We're going to lose these guys. Okay, game, I know you've been waiting your time to throw a safety car. Now is the time. Come on. It would be so good right now. Yo, there was a yellow flag back there. I don't know what happened. Something must have fallen off one of the cars. We need more of that game. We need more people to have issues, please. Alexander Albon is out of this Grand Prix. That is fantastic news. We're going to get a really good run on Kimmy here. Come on, Kimmy. Kimmy leaves the door open. Ooh, it's not a big door, though. And hard on the brakes behind Lewis. As we go up to P8, Alex Albon is out of the Grand Prix. His car must have exploded or something happened. But that is bad news for him in the Toro Rosso. Anyways, next up is Gasly and Hamilton for P6. That's not a bad look. I mean, we'll probably do the exact same move that we've been doing all race. It's the safest play. Let's go though. Lewis is up next. Come on. Really to win. Already. Swing around the outside. Late on the brakes. Get back on the circuit. We nailed it around there. Perfect line. We kept the tire on the track the entire time. Fantastic, Lewis. Get in the bin, bud. We are also going to get DRS on Gasly right here. We need some more rich revs. That Red Bull is going to seem like a sitting duck to us. Come on. We're going to try to swing it on Gasly here. Can we go around the outside? We can't, but we are right on the back of this man. He is having to defend with all his might. He's got nothing right there. Take it around the outside. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was close. That was really close around the outside here. I mean, it's it's such a stupid place to go for an overtake. Okay, down to lean revs. Let's save up. Let's go. Proper overtaking place, please. Yo, my worry though is if we get past Gasly, look at the gap in front of him. That is a big time gap. I don't know if we'll be able to get anybody else as I nearly go straight into the wall. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Reel him in. Rich revs and the DRS. He's not going to get away this time. We're going to swing it around the outside. It's an exact replay of the last lap. But this time we are carrying way more speed than him. Fantastic. No damaging the car. How the hell? Anyways, next up is Bottas, but boy, he is up in the road. So as per the usual, let's go head down. I doubt I'll be able to catch him. This might be 
all it wrote, but who knows? This is F1. We could see a safety car. Oh, what? What? Verstappen has just pitted. No way. It's only been a couple of laps. Verstappen is in. There is still plenty of time for me to do something in this race. No way. Keep head down. Let's keep going. Well, on to the final lap we go. It's going to be a little too late, though. To catch up to Bottas. We did a pretty good job, I must say, of trying to catch him up. But just, it wasn't going to happen. We started too far back. Anyways, our teammate is going to finish this race any second now with a huge first place victory. This man walked away from the start and has never looked back since. It's insane. And just saying that, there it is. Sebastian Vettel is gonna be your race winner, which isn't something I'm super happy about. He's now got a pretty significant lead in the Drivers' Championship. Anyways, let's get this thing to the finish line under all of the fireworks. It looks amazing. A ah, decent race. We couldn't do the check or, or the or the 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 the, the Carlos signs, but we do finish up fourth. Eh, what will you do? Okay, so how did we do in the end? I mean, 20th to 4th is nothing to be ashamed of, especially with how long ago we last played this game, which is kind of crazy. I mean, big loser for the race. Albon uh, gets the DNF starting 9th. Pierre Gasly from 4th all the way down to 10th. That really sucks. Anyways, standings-wise, it is still the McLaren 1-2. Obviously, we are 16 points behind Sebastian Vettel now so we will need a couple of very good races but that is the way it stands for the moment anyways guys that is where we're gonna wrap this up for today I hope you enjoyed it if you haven't already go and check out the AR12 toques in the store link is down below and don't forget the new pink lake stickers are in the store as well and have free shipping anywhere in the world so go check these out at the link in the description and with that thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon with some more F1 2019. See you guys then. Bye!